It's been 48 hours since the unveiling of the Tesla Cybertruck, and there's been lots of comments, lots of reaction in the media and on the internet. My feedback seems to have centered around the non-US pricing for the Cybertruck, specifically Australian pricing. But the method that I'll show you to try and estimate the pricing of the Cybertruck can be adapted to any region, any country that you happen to live in, whether it's South Africa, New Zealand, the UK, or any country around the world. In fact, even if you live in Australia, you can adapt this for any specific state in which you live in, in order to um, factor in the differences between state, government charges, taxes, and any incentives um, that you may have in, in your state or in your region. Before um, we go on, just take this opportunity to subscribe and press the notification bell. My name is Pete, you're watching Ahead of the Curve, and let's get straight to it. Okay, as you can see on your screen now, we're on the web order page for the Tesla Cybertruck. If you glance your eyes to the top right hand corner, you can see AU denoted there, which tells you that we're on the Australian order page. And it doesn't matter if you're on the New Zealand order page or UK order page or any other country's order page, you'll notice one thing in uh, particular, and that is there is no pricing next to any of the different models. So sure, we've still got the three models there, the single motor rear wheel drive, the dual motor all wheel drive, and the tri-motor all wheel drive but none of them have got any pricing next to them, except on the US order page. And I suspect that's because of this. There, there's obviously a two to three year delay between ordering the vehicles and when production will begin. So roughly about two years for the first two models, so late 21 delivery for the single motor and the dual motor, and late 2022, so three years for the tri-motor version. Now, interestingly, this timing is exactly the same on the US order page as it is for all other countries. Now, that doesn't mean that I think in Australia we'll get our right-hand drives or in the UK, you know, right-hand drives um, at the exact same time as they'll become available in the US. I, I, I highly, highly doubt that will be the case. But so, you know, maybe take that with a pinch of salt. But in order to try and work out what the equivalent pricing would be in your country, you can pretty much follow this exact method as I will use now for Australian pricing. So what we'll do is we'll jump into the US order page. As you can see, we've got the three models there now, the single motor rear wheel drive at $40,000 US, the dual motor all wheel drive at 50,000, and the tri-motor all-wheel drive at $70,000 US. So as I mentioned earlier, if you have a look at the guidance for the timing, the wording is exactly the same as it is on the Australian webpage. So like I said, take that with a pinch of salt. Now, single motor rear-wheel drive, $40,000 US. So let's just quickly uh, have a look as to what that would be. Uh, for a similarly priced car that we already know the pricing of. So this is the US page, order page for the Model 3. Now, one thing that got me last time, and this is one thing that you've got to be, you've got to pay particular attention to, is this two tabs. So it automatically defaults on the US website to the Include Potential Savings tab. And you want to ignore that one and press on purchase price because there is a roughly $10,000 US difference. So if we look at the actual purchase price, it's $39,490, which is very similar to the single motor rear wheel drive for the Cybertruck at $39,900. So only a $500 difference roughly in US terms. So a single motor rear wheel drive, which costs $40,000 US, is roughly equivalent to the standard range plus model 3 which is at 39,490 now how much would that cost in australia let's have a look and you can like i said you can do this for any other country new zealand uk or whatever country you happen to be in and if you follow the same process you should be able to get a uh, good estimation now we're in australia in australia we've got several states and territories so we need to so I'm choosing WA, not only because that's where I am in Western Australia, but that's also the most expensive um, delivery fees, uh, 
state taxes and 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 charges etc so for states like new south wales victoria queensland south australia and so on um, you can expect to pay slightly less the difference won't be more than a thousand or two thousand dollars roughly but um uh, definitely won't be more than three thousand dollars let's put it that way but it, it gives you a good idea anyway and you can probably want to keep those two or three thousand dollars up your sleeve for maybe your choice of color or something like that that you may wish to add on that said with the Cybertruck there won't be any colors because it will only come in the unpainted stainless steel the 30 times cold rolled stainless steel exoskeleton which is uh, quite quite exciting so let's get back to the pricing. Forty thousand dollars US translates to about sixty-seven thousand nine hundred for the standard range plus, which is the same in all states of Australia. But where it differs is the drive away price, and that's what you want to be looking at, which is seventy-four thousand six hundred sixty-four dollars for WA, and it will be roughly somewhere around seventy-three, seventy-four thousand dollars for the other states. So it gives you a good comparison. The single motor rear wheel drive at forty thousand dollars US, you can expect to pay, you know, just south of seventy-five thousand dollars Aussie. If we have a look at the dual motor rear wheel drive, and in order to follow the same method, we need to jump over to the to the US pricing. So as you can see, there dual motor all wheel drive fifty thousand dollars US. There's a long range, so once again, make sure you press the purchase price tab. There's a long range Model 3 in the US, which is fairly similar in terms of price at 48,490, which is like, you know, what's that, 49,900, $1,500 different. So let's have a look at what the long range version of the Model 3 would currently cost in Australia. So once again, I'll have to choose my state, so I'll select WA uh, once this comes up. Here we go. Okay, so that's the long range version there. As you can see, $86,000 Australian, which translates to about 97,600 drive away. So call it, you know, just south of $98,000. And like I said, similar for um, all other states in Australia as well, if anything, a little bit less. So. Dual motor all wheel drive, which costs fifty thousand dollars US, you can expect to pay just south of ninety seven thousand or ninety eight thousand dollars for it here in Australia at the moment. Assuming when you get your car, there won't be any changes in terms of exchange rates or taxes, charges, and fees, etc. Now, in order to compare the tri motor. Um, Cybertruck at seventy thousand dollars US, unfortunately, there is no. Um, even if we go to the US page, there is no Model 3 equivalent in that price. So you can see, you know, it only goes up to $50,000 for the performance. But you can jump to the Model S, which um, the long range version there in the US costs 70000 115, which is very similar, but once again, you want to make sure you press that purchase price tab, and now it jumps to $80,000. So it's about $10,000 more US, so just keep that in mind when you're making the conversions. But let's have a look at what the Australian dollar equivalent would be, just for laughs and giggles, and it will give us, you know, at least a, a rough estimate anyway. So once again, we're looking now at the tri-motor all-wheel drive, which is $70,000 US. In Australia, once we choose our state, in WA, we're looking at, let's jump to car, at $125,000 and on-road at just shy of $152,000. Okay, let's not forget, however, that the $125,000 price it, for the Model S was based on the 80,000, once we press on the purchase price tab, on the $80,000 equivalent, rather than the $70,000 price for the tri-motor all-wheel drive. So really what we need to do is take into account the additional $10,000. Now there's two ways that we can go about this. We can either assume that to that $70,000 initial price, we'll end up adding $7,000 US uh, for the self-driving option, which I presume is a good assumption to make. 
and then you leave yourself an extra, let's say 3,000 US dollars for additional optional extras, etc. In which case the $151,000 on-road cost would be a fairly accurate representation of what you could expect to pay. But let's be consistent with the methods that we used for the first two models, the single motor rear wheel drive and the dual motor all wheel drive. And let's work out what the $70,000 price tag would actually equate to in Australian dollars today. Now, unfortunately, in order to do this in Australia, we've got to consider something called a luxury car tax. And if you go to the Australian Taxation Office website, they have a fairly straightforward calculation. It looks com complicated, but it actually is fairly straightforward. I'll show you exactly how to calculate things. So what you need to look at is the LCT value, which is basically just the cost of the car. So as we saw there, that's $125,000. Don't forget that included an extra $10,000 US. So basically what we do is take away uh, $10,000 US from that $125,000 price. Now $10,000 US is equivalent to about $15,000 Australian. So the LCT value becomes $110,000. So there it is there. From that, we've got to take away the LCT threshold. And if you scroll down the website, there's a link to the thresholds and there's a table there. So the figure that applies is the 75,526 figure for the current financial year. And you can see this hasn't changed for the last few years right up until 2016-17 and then it only changed by $100 or so. Um, so you can see the whole table right there. Obviously the figure is a little bit higher for fuel efficient vehicles which is fantastic. Um, it's about $8,000 higher but what is unfortunate is if you have a look at the trend on the other column here starting in 2009-2010 so for non-fuel non efficient vehicles or other vehicles, that threshold has been going up um, over the last few years. So 2013, you can see it was at $60,000, then 62, then 63, 64, 65, 66, and now we're at 67,500. So the, the threshold for other vehicles has been going up, um, but perhaps it hasn't been um, going up as, as fast for fuel efficient vehicles, which is a little bit unfortunate, but um, we've got to deal with um, the regime that there is in place here. So um, get it going back to the calculation. Um, let me just go back to the, here we go. So there's the, there's the um, formula. So LCT value less the LCT threshold. So LCT value was 110,000 less to 75,526, which was the threshold. Then we've got to multiply by 10 from memory, divide by 11, multiply by 33%, and we get $10,342, which is the luxury car tax component of the car. So we'll add that to the cost of the car, which was $110,000. So for a tri-motor all-wheel drive, that costs $70,000 US, um, you can expect to pay $120,000 Australian um, equivalent, uh, assuming all else remains unchanged. So 70,000 US translates to $120,000 Australian. Keep in mind, as I said before, there's a there's going to be a difference in terms of when you order the car and when it comes for delivery and lots can change, especially exchange rates, as well as government taxes and charges can change in that period of time. Speaking of government taxes and charges, what you should consider is whether the luxury car tax applies to you at all. So here we are on the Australian Taxation Office website again, and you can see on the left hand side there, there's a menu here and we can click on when LCT doesn't apply. And you can read through all this and see if it applies to you, specifically, you know, where there's an ABN being quoted, if it's used as an emergency vehicle. Um, and also there's another, um, so here we go. 
it doesn't apply to a motorhome or camper van or a commercial vehicle designed mainly for carrying goods and not passengers. So keep all those, um, have a good read through that and uh, perhaps speak to your tax advisor to see if um, LCD would be payable in your situation. If it's not, you can um, take away $10,000 from that final cost of the vehicle, in which case the $70,000 tri motor would be $110,000 for you. Okay, so let's now summarize the Australian dollar pricing. So starting with the single motor rear wheel drive, which in the US costs $40,000 before full self driving and other optional extras, the Australian dollar equivalent is roughly about $68,000. And if we include on-road costs, such as stamp duty, luxury car tax, delivery charges, fees, etc., we're looking at roughly about $75,000 Aussie. The dual motor all-wheel drive, which costs $50,000 before full self-driving and extras, has a Australian dollar equivalent of about $86,000. And if we include on-road costs, it's roughly about $97,000 Australian. If we look at the tri-motor all-wheel drive, which cost $70,000 before full self-driving, etc., that has a Australian dollar equivalent of roughly about $110,000. And if we include on-road costs, such as luxury car tax, SAM duty, government charges, etc., we're looking at $120,000. So interestingly, if we're looking at uh, on-road costs, including luxury ta car tax, the price ranges from 75000 to 120000 which is pretty much the exact or very similar to the Model 3 pricing in Australia at, at the moment, which is quite incredible considering that we're looking at a much larger car and a much more capable car. Okay, that's it from me, but I would love to hear what you think. Have you already placed an order for the Cybertruck? And if so, which model did you go for? If you're still sitting on the fence, which model are you leaning towards? And if you're not in the market for a Cybertruck, but nevertheless you find the topic interesting, I'd still love to hear from you. So you can share your thoughts in the comment section below. And this time around, I'll also include my email address in the description section so that you can email me directly. Apologies for forgetting to put that in for the last video. I'll also include my Tesla link in the description section below, which is a website URL that you can click on and you'll be taken to the Tesla website. So if you're in the market to buy a Model 3, Model S, Model X, etc., this link will give you 1,500 kilometers of free supercharging or 1,000 miles and that's irrespective of where in the world you are. So if you're in the market for a new Tesla, make sure that you use that link because those three supercharging kilometers could definitely come in handy. I'll also be very grateful, uh, grateful as well because I'll receive some free supercharging kilometers as well. So that's definitely it from me for now. So until the next video, as usual, stay safe, stay sustainable, and stay ahead of the curve. Ciao.